Ali Abulaban made following the deaths of his wife and her friend. It is day four of the double murder trial for the former TikTok star. From viral TikTok star to facing the ultimate crime. Today, we delve into the shocking story of Ali Abulaban, the social media sensation whose life took a dark and devastating turn. Known to his millions of followers as Gen Kid, Abulaban was a rising star in the online world captivating audiences with his celebrity impressions and engaging content. What the f is wrong with this guy? Get him up. But behind the screen, his life was unraveling in a disturbing way. Accused of murdering his wife, Anna, and her friend, Rayburn Barron, Abulaban's story has taken a tragic turn. In a case that has left many stunned, we'll explore the details of the crime, the troubling behaviors leading up to it, and the impact on the lives of those affected. Join us as we uncover the layers of this harrowing story and examine what led to this shocking outcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this and more gripping stories. This is Crime Chronicles, and this is the tragic case of Ali Abulaban. Let's dive in. The case has shocked many, particularly his former fans who are grappling with the stark contrast between the engaging persona they saw online and the violent actions he is accused of committing. According to the prosecution, the events leading up to the murders began with Abulaban's installation of a listening device on his five-year-old daughter's iPad. This seemingly inconspicuous act of surveillance was driven by his suspicions of infidelity. Abulaban allegedly overheard Anna speaking with another man, which reportedly fueled his rage and led him to take drastic and violent measures. In a disturbing turn of events, Abulaban went to Anna's home armed with a gun and, in a fit of jealousy and anger, shot both Anna and Rayburn Baron. The details of the crime are chilling. Prosecutors describe how Abulaban allegedly confronted Rayburn first, shooting him multiple times at close range. Three shots, hitting him, ten saws, in the neck, cheek, and back of the head. Following this, Abulaban turned the gun on Anna, shooting her once in the forehead. The brutality of the killings underscores the tragic culmination of what prosecutors describe as an escalating pattern of violence and obsession. Following the murders, Abulaban did not flee immediately, Instead, he is said to have picked up his daughter from school with a loaded gun in his possession. This disturbing act further compounded the gravity of his crime. Reports indicate that Abulaban made a confession to his mother shortly after the shootings, informing her of his actions before fleeing the scene. His daughter was left in the car as he was apprehended later that day by the police. This added layer of horror his young daughter being present during such a traumatic event has only deepened the sense of tragedy surrounding the case. Abulaban's arrest in 2021 was a significant development, marking the end of a series of violent and troubling behaviors. According to prosecutors, the relationship between Abulaban and Anna had been deteriorating for some time. Anna had requested Abulaban to move out in October 2021 leading him to temporarily check into a hotel. However, it was during this period that he is accused of sneaking back into the apartment using a copied key. Abulaban allegedly vandalized the apartment, further highlighting his escalating instability. In the months leading up to the murders, the couple's tumultuous relationship was marked by several incidents of domestic violence. Anna had reportedly filed a police report for domestic violence just a month before her death, alleging that Abulaban had pushed and injured her in front of their daughter. This report was part of a troubling pattern, as neighbors testified that Anna had sought their help and asked them to call the police on previous occasions due to physical altercations with Abulaban. Despite multiple calls to the San Diego Police Department regarding domestic disputes, Abulaban had never been arrested or charged in connection with these incidents. Abulaban's social media presence painted a vastly different picture. Prior to the murders, he had amassed a significant following, with nearly a million TikTok followers and around 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. 
His content primarily featured voice impressions of celebrities such as Nicolas Cage, Takashi 6 9 Aini, and the fictional character Scarface. Speak English when you talk to me, okay? That was English. Uh, I'll have a venti, caramel, dolce, ma- What the f*** are you talking about? A venti. What is that? A large? Abulaban and Anna had even collaborated on some of these social media videos, presenting a facade of a happy and successful couple to their audience. The couple's move from Virginia to San Diego just eight months before the murders added another layer of complexity to their story. In an interview with Fox 5 San Diego, Abulaban expressed his ambitions to become an actor and mentioned that he was actively meeting with producers and seeking a talent agent shortly before the incident. He attributed the strain on their relationship to Anna's alleged partying, while his cousin suggested that Abulaban's rising TikTok fame and alleged drug use were contributing factors. Abulaban himself denied these claims, creating a confusing narrative of personal and relational discord. Rayburn Barron, the second victim, is remembered by his family as a devoted brother, son, nephew, cousin, and friend. The GoFundMe page established in his memory highlights his role as the glue of his family, known for his dedication and the positive impact he had on those around him. The precise nature of his relationship with Anna remains somewhat unclear, but prosecutors maintain that their connection was purely platonic. As Abulaban's trial approaches, the focus will be on the confession he allegedly made, which could be a crucial element for the prosecution. Charged with first-degree murder, Abulaban faces the possibility of spending the rest of his life behind bars if convicted. Um, this is clearly an outgrowth from domestic violence. Legal expert Melba Pearson notes that cases like this are unfortunately not uncommon and emphasizes the importance of seeking help if one finds themselves in a similar situation. In summary, the case of Ali Abalaban is a tragic example of how social media fame and personal turmoil can intersect in devastating ways. The shocking nature of the crimes combined with the ongoing revelations about Abu Laban's behavior and the fractured nature of his relationships, paints a grim picture of a man whose life took a violent and unexpected turn. He is sentenced to 50 years in prison for the murders of his wife and her friend. In addition to the two consecutive life sentences, Judge Fraser imposed an extra 50 years to life for firearm-related enhancements. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.